this um unlimited and the original kaida alpha sign <laughs> guys guys it was bomb let me just say it was bomb <laughs> guys this is your wing lady and i'm back today with another amazing video <laughs> how are you doing i hope you're doing well wing lady is doing so so good today we are going to be reviewing kaid alperson unlimited by latafa this is kaid alperson unlimited it comes in this lovely box with a picture of a golden horse makes it so classy actually white box golden horse white box golden horse <laughs> so it comes like so and it comes in this particularly white beautiful bottle you see this this bottle is actually nice and it has a magnetic cap <laughs> and you guys know i love magnetic caps <laughs> i feel like such a baby so it comes like so and it looks really really classy actually it looks very very good now spraying um kite alfrosan unlimited i've actually worn it very well for a while now i've tested it out you know play with it you know get a feel of it and i can tell you that if you love vanilla you're going to love kite alfrosan unlimited So right off the top is actually sweet. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's a bit musky. I don't know if there's musk in there. I'm going to see if I can find the notes and leave them on the screen. What I get right off the top is the fact that it has a lot of vanilla. It is very sweet, it is creamy, it is musky and a little bit fresh. It has a little something in there that gives an element of freshness i think it must be the bigger one the no say it has berries and apples i don't catch a lot of those but it has a distinct fruitiness at the top though it smells sweet and fruity just a little bit fruity it's not an overly sweet you know fruity sweet perfume but it's a little bit fruity it is a little bit fresh but the vanilla and the creaminess you can't miss them those ones are unmistakable so if you love vanilla forward scents this would absolutely do it for you i know some people say they get a hint of coconuts i frankly do not get coconuts probably something else in there that smells like coconuts but i've tried the perfume on for a good while now many times and i haven't gotten coconuts on any occasion to me no coconuts <laughs> If you're getting coconuts, of course, that's what you're getting. That's what you're smelling. But me, I do not really get coconuts. So what I get is sweetness out of the top. Sweetness and freshness. A bit fruity sweet. If you're not a fruity sweet perfume lover, this could still do it for you. Because it's not overly fruity sweet. Just a little bit sweet at the top with a bit of fruit. Then it's very creamy and vanilla forward and milky or lactonic yeah i think it has a little something in there that smells milky milky creamy lactonic i know someone said it smells like ice cream but i'm not really getting that ice cream vibe what i'm getting is some sort of um a fruit juice with um uh, milk like like video milk <laughs> Video milk is a local, is a Nigerian brand that makes all sorts of flavors of video milk. But picture video milk with some, you know, apples, some fresh fruits, but with milk, creamy, with vanilla, like a shake. Yes, like a shake, like a milkshake. Totally got it. <laughs> like a milkshake. If you like fruity milkshakes, this will totally do it for you. Fruity sweet milkshake. This will totally do it for you. I think at the top it has berries and apples. So if you like those sort of thing, you know, throw up a bit of fruits together in a blender with uh, some milk, shake it all up. Totally smells like a fruity milkshake with lots of vanilla, of course, lots of vanilla. So if you like vanilla, this would absolutely do it for you. The unique thing about this perfume is the fact that it's good for all occasions. You can totally wear this anywhere. And it layers pretty well, actually. It layers pretty well with scents that are fruity sweet. 
I tried it with French coffee and it didn't really work very well. I also tried it with florals, with a floral perfume, and it didn't really play well with florals. But if you have a fruity sweet perfume of sweet scent or oil, and you layer it with Calda Fosano Limited, they are going to play so well together. But with a chocolatey scent, it just doesn't do it. You would think uh, a vanilla creamy scent would play well with a chocolatey scent. It doesn't play well because I tried it with choco musk as well and the mix was not given. It just was not given. I tried it with choco musk. I tried it with French coffee. It didn't give. So if you want to enjoy this, either you wait alone and just enjoy its awesomeness or you pair it with something fruity sweet or something creamy sweet. That's when it's going to play well together. So Kaida Alpersan is just in a class of its own. <laughs> unlimited. I keep saying Kaida Alpersan. Kaida Alpersan Unlimited. Now, compared to the original Kaida Alpersan, that is the black one, the pineapple one. <sighs> Guys, I discovered something. And you know, Wing Lady always discovers these tips and tricks. So when you spray the original Kaida Alpersan, that is this black one. You know that what comes up right at you is the pineapple sweetness and a bit of depth. However, I layered both of this. This um, Unlimited and the original Kaida Alpha Sun. <laughs> Guys. Guys, it was bomb. Let me just say, it was bomb. They complemented each other so, so well. I was like, how come I didn't know about this combo before? Because this one is actually fruity sweet, you know, pineapple sweet. It's actually pineapple forward. It sort of does it, you know, with this one that is creamy sweet, fruity sweet plus creamy sweet, they totally, they totally just do it. If you layer both of them together, I guarantee you, you're going to be smelling exotic and rich and opulent and classy. You need to try, you need to try. Shall I remind you guys one more time? Kaid Alphasan Original, Kaid Alphasan Unlimited. You need to layer these two guys. You need to layer these two. You heard it here. You need to layer these two. They play so well together. And the combination was such a delicious cocktail. That's all I can say. You need to try it for yourself. When you try it for yourself, then you know what Wing Lady is talking about. But it was really good. It was really good. You need to try it. Now, for the longevity on um, Kaeda Posano Limited. Um, sorry, it didn't really do that much. It's, it's calm. Again, maybe because of the vanilla, it's... She sits closer to the skin. It's a calm sense. It's not shouting. It's not shouting. Both of them together are still not shouting, but at least they smell very, very exotic, very opulent. But they are not really kind of a sun unlimited. It's not really shouting. It's calm. You know, it sort of sits closer to your skin. It's an intimate scent. With the musk in there, it makes it so sensual, so sexy. If you like those creamy, sensual, musky, vanilla scents, you would absolutely love this. But it's not shouting anyway. It's not announcing your presence in the room. It lasted about, I think, five hours on my skin. And on the clothes, it lasted the whole day. So let's just give it around 12 to 24 hours on clothes. Sorry, you can't get that much. Maybe if you have a spray, though. If you do like a dozen sprays. <laughs> Maybe if you do like a, do a dozen sprays, you're going to get more out of it. But basically, that's just what it does. It's just not... It's giving, but in terms of longevity, it's not giving. It's not a beast mode perfume by any means. By any definition, it's not beasting anything. If you lay it with Kaida for a do it gives it a bit more power and they play well along. They play very well together, but you know, if you're looking for beast mode, this is not it. <laughs> this, this is not it. Now for the sillage, like I said as well, it's not really projecting forward. It's not the scent that's going to announce your presence in a room. It's not the scent that's going to let everybody know that, hello, I am here. <laughs> it's not that kind of scent. Sorry about that. It doesn't perform very, very well. But sometimes we don't, we can't just, you know, take beast mode perfumes all the time. Sometimes you need something intimate. You're going to somewhere where you don't want to choke people out with your perfume. This is what you need. Sometimes you just need something that sits closer to your skin. You're going on a sensual, sexy date night. Are you going to wear an oud perfume that's going to be louding and shouting everywhere? No, you need things like this, like Haida or Hosan, the creamy ones. So it would do it for certain occasions. <laughs> so it's not a bad perfume by any means, but... It's not beasting, Sha. It's not beasting. But it's really, really good. It's good. And I recommend. Like I said, if you like this creamy, you know, vanilla scents, perfume that smells like milkshake, then you're gonna love it. Aside from that, eh. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Oh my god.
I really appreciate it. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel for more of me. And until next time, mwah, mwah, mwah. ciao.